If you need the warmth of a turtleneck this fall and winter, but you don't want to wear one all day long, you know, after you get to where you're going and your outdoor layers are just a bit too much for the indoors, well, a faux turtleneck cowl is just what you need. We'll start this project with a long tail cast on, so get yourself a nice long tail, long enough for 85 stitches, and swing the needle down to grab the loop on your thumb, then swing it up to grab the loop on your finger, and drop the thumb loop over the tip of the needle. You'll keep going with this until you have 85 stitches or 85 loops here on your needle. For this project, I'm working with Bernat Roving Yarn. This colorway is called Putty, but they do have a handful of other really pretty options. If you don't have this yarn, it's not available to you, or you just want to substitute, you can do so with another number five bulky yarn. All right, when you have 85 stitches cast on, lay it flat like this and make sure the braid is along the inside as best you can. It kind of wants to wave around because it's a lot of stitches on this size needle. Now also make sure the working yarn is coming from this side and you'll need a stitch marker so that you know what the first stitch of the round is. Place that on your needle and go ahead and knit the first stitch. So with that stitch, we've attached the two ends together. We can continue knitting in the round and you'll knit the next two stitches as well. Then we'll purl the next stitch. So pull the yarn forward and purl. And purl once again. So we have a total of two there. All right, so here's the repeat for this round and the subsequent rounds. We'll knit three and purl two. So if you're brand new to knitting, and this is one of your first projects, it'll be really helpful for you to know how to read your knitting or know what stitch is a knit and what stitch is a purl just by looking at it. So when you see a bar directly below the needle or the cord, that's a purl stitch. And when you see a V, those are knits. So I ended with two purl stitches before I put this down. And that means I need to pick up with three knit stitches because my pattern is knit three, purl two. When you get to the end of the round, you should end with two purls if you've worked the pattern correctly. Then go ahead and pass the marker over and keep going with the same repeat, knit three, Purl two. Believe it or not, that's as complicated as the stitch pattern gets. It's really simple and easy to knit. So using the techniques you just saw, continue working with this repeat until it measures about 13 inches from the cast on edge. All right, that brings us to the bind off. Go ahead and knit the first two stitches. We're just continuing with our pattern repeat and then pass the first loop over the last. Then knit the next stitch two, and pass the first loop over the last. Now the next stitch is a purl, so purl that one. Then pass the first loop over the last. And the next stitch is a purl, so we'll purl that too and pass the first stitch over. So that's all there is to it. You're still working in your same stitch pattern, but just binding off as you go. Now, when you get to that last stitch, pull up on the loop and trim a tail that's about eight inches or so, then feed the tail through the loop and you'll notice right off the bat, we've got this big step or this jog from where we worked in the round, which is more or less like a spiral staircase. The end of the row is slightly higher than the beginning of the row. So we can fix that with the tail and it's not a big deal. So work the tail with a yarn needle through the next stitch over on that lower side. 
and then back up through the last stitch that was on the upper side. That'll sort of flatten it out and make the step a little bit more of a slope. Then continue weaving that end along the inside. Now you will have a couple more ends to tend to from adding the new yarn and your cast on edge. So go ahead and clean those up too. Then when you're ready to wear it, just fold it in half and you're ready to go. Oh, and one more thing. If you haven't subscribed yet already, I would love to have you part of this community. Just go ahead and hit the subscribe button so I can continue inspiring you to make something that'll make you happy. Happy knitting, and I'll see you in the next one.